Welcome to Punk Rock Radar. Today, this one goes out to all the bros who like to woe. We're doing Pennywise. All right, Matt, another week of album tears, and we're doing these every week for the past seven weeks, and it has been brutal listening to these huge discographies every single week. So, yeah, yeah. like we talked about it before, but I'm going to say it here too. We're going to start doing these every other week. Next, not next week, the following week will be Alkaline Trio because listening to like 13 albums in the span of like five days is just, it's just crazy. So we want to be able to give like a true ranking. So there's going to be a two week gap between these, but we're figuring out something cool for uh, next Wednesday that we're going to launch. Uh, that's going to be another weekly thing. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, Matt, what do you want to say before we, uh, we start this one? Man, I, I, like listening to Pennywise for this whole week, you know, I thought Bad Religion albums all sounded the same, but I forgot how much Pennywise sounds the same on all their albums. It's probably more than Bad Religion does. I would say there's a good six or seven albums. I had no idea what album I was on. It, it's true, and I kind of feel like it It like goes in like almost twos or threes where the, the, the two, like the, the album and the next two will sound the same, and then it goes like that. There's like a pattern. Yeah. And it's for, it's bad. It's, very similar to Bad Religion too, like that, where like they'll have like three albums that sound the same, and then there's like a little bit of a shift. It could be like in production mm. or something like that, and then the next three sound like that. Yeah, I, I was just happy when I got to the album without Jim on it, because then I knew I was on a new album. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> th that definitely mixed it up. And Matt, this first one, 1988, which is Wild Card, Word from the Wise, and I think maybe... A couple other tracks for me anyway this this one doesn't really sound too much like the others it's it's kind of goofy like sometimes it sounds like the beastie boys on a couple of tracks sometimes mm. it's like glam rock uh then there's like some stuff that sounds like early pennywise like for me anyway i'll get this started overall it's a good start for like in a late 80s punk band i i, I like this one but Honestly, I really don't find myself coming back to listen. I know this one is like a, a recent re-release, but like Wild Card, Word from the Wise, like I've had that seven inch forever. I couldn't tell you the last time I put that on. So yeah, personally, I, I'm i going to start off by putting this one in my D tier. Ooh, really? Yeah, man. And... And you're going to you're going to upset all those uh hardcore pennywise fans and you know those purists that are going to say this is their best this is their rawest form you know <laughs> That's that dude that's kind of my MO here like I I like I like to have well it literally man it's just my own opinion I I did the same with bad religion where I like the later stuff I like stuff yeah. that sounds good I like I was not listening to this in 19 it's called 1988, but I think all these came out in 1989. I was not listening to this in 1989, so listening to it 10 years later, it's just like a detriment that it sounds like that. It's not a positive for me. Yeah, yeah. And and you know what, John? I'm, I'm going to be with you on this one. I also have this one in the D list, and uh, I just didn't find myself, like you said, coming back to this one that much. I listened to it once, twice, and then I was done. I was like, I don't have to listen to this again. Like you said, it kind of was the style was all over i felt like in this album yeah. and that's why i'm putting it in the d section yeah well what about the next one man i want i want your opinion on this one but i do want to say first i we always forget to do this it, it, just in case it's your first tier list with with us we do a maximum of three per tier except for s which can only have two so there has to be some in every single tier minimum of two maximum of three so D tier doesn't mean it sucks. It could suck, but it doesn't mean that. It just means we have to have yeah. some in D. We have to have some in C. So with that said, Matt, go ahead. Uh, Pennywise self-titled from 1991, I believe. Yeah, Pennywise self-titled. This is a great album. I definitely can see myself going back to this one and listening to it more than once, twice, three times. It's a good album. Um, definitely better than that, uh, you know, 1980, uh, what was it, 1988? Um, I have this one in B, John. I put this one in B. 
this is a great, I guess, like coming out album, and I'm putting this one in B. Um, what do you think, John? That's a tough one. I don't know. Yeah. Man. I, I don't yeah. know. I I like this one too. And I think Wouldn't It Be Nice is really good. Like, yeah, good song. There's a lot of good songs on here, but like, I feel like huh, I'm putting it in C. I'm going C for this one. I, I think it's better than the last one, but I just feel like they get they get a lot better, especially like sonically. Like this one definitely doesn't sound too mm. good. Like, of course it has like the original bro hymn on it. So we got to mention that like it's a classic. Oh, yeah. Um, I just, man, yeah, I'm going C. That's all I have to say. I, I think they get a lot better than this. I don't personally have any nostalgia for this album. I probably heard it 10 years after it came out. Uh, but yeah, wouldn't it be nice? The original version of bro him, some great songs on here, but personally I'm putting it in C. Okay. I, I, I agree with that. I mean, you know, it's not everyone's cup of tea, this one, you know, the, the, the quality of it, but I kind of like that rough quality sometimes mm -hmm. depending on the band. I feel like it fits Pennywise pretty well like that. Not that great, you know, quality of recording and stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm curious now, Matt, I, I'm also going to let you take the reins on this next one because I know a lot of people, this is a lot of people's favorite Pennywise album. Like a lot of people feel like this is their peak. I, unknown road which came out in 1993 what, yeah. are, what are you thinking about this one so you know i pissed off a lot of people with our gutter mouth one when i said you know surfs up was i think an a tier i put it in mm -hmm. or uh eat your face i'm sorry eat your face so I, i'm gonna piss off some people with this one too i put this one as c john i felt like pennywise self-title is better than uh this one and that's why i have that one up in b and this one down in c um yeah, I, I know a lot of people do love this one. Uh, and like I say, this is like the Pennywise album. But I feel I really feel like that self-titled one is definitely better than this. So that's why I had to put it below the self-title. See, <laughs> this is funny, man. I, I thought you would have this a lot higher. Um, I also am going to put this in the C tier. But <laughs> I, I agree with your reasoning. I think the first one is even better than this one. Yeah, I think this was a step back, kind of, in my opinion, mm -hmm. than the untitled Pennywise. Um, and that's why I had to put it down to see. Yeah, like, people are going to shit on us a lot for that. That's but, right. But, like, for me, this this one, it, it still sounds, like, a little disjointed. Like, there's, like, some parts of this where, like, Jim almost sounds like Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. Like, he didn't find his voice yet. Like, none of the guys, it just doesn't feel like Pennywise yet it still feels like a band who's searching for themselves and I know that kind of has some appeal like it's definitely rough mm -hmm. but again as people who heard this like eight to ten years after it came out we already heard the refined version of Pennywise so that's part that's part of the reason why we're both putting this in C yeah uh Matt up next I think here we get to about time oh this one, I feel like now we're starting to get into where Pennywise is Pennywise, like at least for me. Like this is like the meat of the discography. Yeah. And like just looking at this album, you got like I think every song is actually about time, which I didn't realize until we decided to <laughs> to uh to do this. But yeah, I guess the title About Time is actually literal. Mm -hmm. Um there's a lot of great songs on here, like every single day. Um peaceful day like same old story like this one perfect people yeah. yeah this one's really really good free bass yeah i mean this is a solid this is a solid album and that's why I, I have this one personally john i have this in my a tier this is an a tier album just from all those songs you said I, I, my favorite is perfect people i love perfect people and free bass um yeah definitely this is an a tier this is a great leap by a band you know into this like like you said this is the meat and potatoes right here we're getting into pennywise for me at least right here from this album going forward yeah see i went back and forth between a and b but i think i'm mm. going to settle on b and for this reason okay. alone i think that the next three records sound very similar and mm. of the next three i think this is my least favorite of the three i still really really like this album but for that reason, I'm going to put it in B. 
Uh, but it's it's like that close to being an A. Like I really, really think this is a great record. Yeah, yeah. So for me, like I felt like this was a good stepping stone for Pennywise's album. And you know, the next album up, full circle, that just steps him right up into the S tier. This album for me is S tier all the way. Just with that intro, this might be like you know, fight till you die. That first song, you know, it just kicks this album off. I get kicked in the face by this when I hear it. I'm like, I'm ready to pit. I'm ready to do something. Um, and this album just rocks through and through. Damn, yeah, dude. I I really really wanted to put this in my S tier. Like just listening to these from like the oldest to the newest. Like you're saying, the second that fight till you die hits, yeah, all of a sudden. Going from the last one to this, like the guitar tone is so much nastier. Jim's mm-hmm. vocals are deeper. This this is like the Pennywise that I really grew up on. Like I the first the la- the next record actually was the first one I got, but I got this one shortly after. And yeah. man, dude, I mean I don't want to use do a mulligan. It. Just just do it. Put this in the S. This is an S album. I, I might say this might be one of their best, like complete albums. For me personally. I'm gonna go A. I'm gonna go A. Okay. Okay. So we we have nothing the same, right? Oh no, we have two the same. What what am I talking about? It's been a long yeah. day at work, man, but um <laughs> Yeah. This one, if we could have three S, this would this would easily be my third S. So I'll say that. Mm-hmm. But Matt, I'm going to take us into what is my first S tier album. And that is straight ahead. Mm. Okay. Uh, this was the first Pennywise record I had. So I do have like a little nostalgia for it. And I don't know why, like, I don't know, maybe this shouldn't be an S tier, but this, I never hear people really talk about this one. I, it's always like, Full circle, unknown road, about time. Like when I talk to people about Pennywise, it always seems like they're going for those albums. And man, dude, victim of reality might be a dream. Like straight ahead, the title track, yeah. one voice, like can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, this is yeah, definitely a good album. Yeah, like the, the and there's 17 songs, and even the last one, like Badge of Pride, is one I really like. Like, hmm. I, I got to put this in S, man. This is my first S tier, and I don't really even feel bad about it. Like, I think this is a really, really good record. No, yeah, it, it's definitely a solid uh, album from Pennywise. Um, but like you said, you know, I had to follow the rules, so I have this one in A. Like, if I could put another one in S, it would have been straight ahead. Um, you know, for, full circle kind of edged this one out by a little bit, and that's why I'm putting this one in A tier. All right. I, I I we're not too far apart, and I kind of I kind of like that we're different, but not the same. Yeah, yeah. But Matt, I I really want your opinion on this next one here on Full Circle or not Full Circle. What are we at? Land of the Free. <laughs> Land of the Free. So for me, Land of the Free, um, I think just the nostalgia from it. I remember when this album came out. Um, I mean, Land of the Free, like when I first got this one, I was just so pumped. I was like, oh man, look at this album cover is so badass, you know, um, fuck authority pretty much. Right. And uh, I guess from the nostalgia, but I'm putting this one in S. I feel like this is an S album. Um, But I I feel like some people that like Pennywise don't look at this one as like one of their top albums, maybe. But, you know, I do. I definitely put this one in the S tier. Dude, I I am definitely with you on this one. This is my other S tier, so we're both full up on S already. But yeah. like I remember waiting for this album to drop. Like I think The World came out I, I think it was the second single. It came out like a few weeks before this actually dropped, and I thought that that was like the best Pennywise song I ever had I, I ever heard. And, you know, we're talking a long time ago, but now when I look back at this track list, I'm not even sure the world is like in my top five on this album. And that just shows you like how strong of a record this is. Yeah. I mean, time marches on land of the free, um, enemy, something wrong with me. And then like WTO, I love WTO in here. Um, yeah, there's so many good songs on here and, uh, you know, just seeing them play these songs live too is, is I feel like these songs are their best live songs to play as well. Like it really gets the crowd going. I feel like these songs off this album. Yeah, honestly, looking at it now, I think "My God" is my favorite one. And but like, mm-hmm. 
Man, who's on your side? And really, honestly, I don't even have to pick a favorite one here. This whole album is just so good. I don't yeah. know if it's just like our generation. Like we were in high school when this came out. We we got it like the day it came out. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's affecting it, and that's why older Pennywise fans don't really care for this as much. But man, I just remember when this came out. We were all like, "Holy shit, this is this is special." Yeah, yeah, it was a great album. Yeah, yeah, but uh, honestly, man, here we we are. The next one which is going to be From the Ashes, which came out two years after Mm -hmm. Land of the Free. And I think this one sounds pretty similar to Land of the Free, but just it's not on the level really of the last three albums, in my opinion, anyway. Like, I think Something to Change is a good song. Holiday in the Sun is a good song. Uh the first two are are good, too. Yeah, God Save the U.S. is such a great song. Um you know, I know it does. It, it kind of sounds similar to maybe Land of the Free, that style, but um, it doesn't quite hit as that one. But I still like this one. I still like. I still like. Feel like putting this one in A tier is justifiable with what's left in the Pennywise you know, discography. That this for me is definitely an A tier album as well. I agree with you, man. I'm, I'm doing A as yeah. well. Because um, I mean, like, look what we have left. I mean, like, I feel like. Oh, I don't know. Maybe like this is where they start kind of going downhill a little bit. I feel like after this album. Yeah. See, I really like this one, but I feel like it just it's just like a little flat. Like some of the it doesn't mm-hmm. have like the riffs that like Land of the Free and Straight Ahead and Full Circle. Yeah. It's it seems like a little more like not dumbed down, but it's it's very by the book. Like even for Pennywise, mm-hmm. but. I still think it's awesome. I still listen to this one a lot and I still think it has like some of their, you know, great live songs on here. So yeah. It's, yeah. I it, mean, and what's that? that? That's two year turnaround from, from yeah. Two put years. Out, yeah. yeah they, that's pretty good. All these, I think all these are within two years of each other. They, they were just, yeah. they were churning out albums like nobody's business, man. <laughs> yeah. Like hey, it was a good time for us, you know, mm-hmm. more concerts to go to. Yeah. And, this next one, Matt, I'm going to let you take it away. This was two years after uh, From the Ashes. This is The Fuse, and yeah. I'm curious, man, where you're going to put this one. I'm really curious about this one. So The Fuse, I'm putting The Fuse in B. I'm putting The Fuse in B. I feel like it's an, I guess B would be our average. So that's like our average album right here. Nothing that special. Um but the other ones after this, uh, you know, aren't as good. So that's why I'm putting this one in B. Um, I don't really have a favorite song off of this one. It's just like, I don't know. It's just meh to me. It's a B. Yeah, I I think you're exactly right with your it's meh part, which is why, yeah. Matt, this is my, probably my least favorite Pennywise album, though. Uh, and I remember, like, when this came out, we were still all really into Pennywise. Like they were still like yeah. one of the biggest punk bands in the world. And I feel like this one doesn't have like any really standout tracks. And you know, with 15 tracks and I have like any that I'm like, Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Like maybe closer take, and stand, yeah, take, stand up. Yeah. Take but, a look around's good too. I don't know. There's just too many duds on here. I, I, this is the album I listen to least out of the. You're putting this. You're putting this in D, aren't you? I'm putting it in D. I'm putting oh. it straight in D. I. I mean, I need another D. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious what your <laughs> last D is gonna be, though. Uh, I. I think I know what it is actually. But yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think you do. Uh, what, right. what is it? What is it? If I had a guess, knowing you, and I don't want to jump too far, but I would guess yeah. you're gonna put yesterday's as your d but don't don't even tell us until we we get yeah. there yeah uh let's let's go right into um reason to believe which was a myspace album for a while i believe what do you think yeah, of this one it, yeah it was they put it out for free which was awesome so free is always good right you didn't have to buy it, it was it was on myspace for free yeah to download which was cool um you know reasons to believe um i have this one in c i don't think it's that bad um, but it's not great. It's a C. Just kind of like Mexican food. You know, I feel like Mexican food, man, it's just, it's meh, meh. You know, it's never great or bad Mexican food. And, and I feel like this is a C. Yeah. 
I disagree with you on both of those. I love Mexican food. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm saying, like, when you go out to eat Mexican food, I feel like there's no great and there's no bad. It's just, eh, like, there. I definitely had really bad Mexican food, and I definitely had good Mexican food. So, <laughs> so uh, I disagree. That's I, my theory. That's where I live. That's my theory. Then you know, I'm gonna have to come up by you and get some good Mexican then. But I mean, I also lived in Texas for three that's years, true. so you gotta that's factor true. that in too. But Matt, I feel like this is like the black sheep of the Pennywise catalog, and I feel like it does not okay. get a lot of love because. For a while, if this was hard to find, like this wasn't on Spotify until like last year. I don't know why. Like if I wanted to listen to this, I don't have the vinyl of this. I never did actually. But um, I had to like go to my other computer or like an iPod or something from like 10 years ago to listen to this album. So when they put it back on Spotify or maybe even for the first time last year, I kind of like revisited it and I was like, wow, this is actually pretty good. Like, let me pull up the track list here. Like mm -hmm. one reason Western world we'll never know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this album is good. And I think the fact that it was on MySpace records, the fact that it didn't really get a traditional release kind of hurt it, especially to like punk fans, like what punk wants to get an album on MySpace records. I feel like that definitely hurt them. And I, man, I don't know where I'm going to put this one still. I, and guys, like I like to do my D and my S and then I put the rest in as we go. I have an idea, mm. but I, I honestly, man, this probably is an A, man. An, an A? John, look what you're putting that next to. <laughs> look at your A and then look what you're going to put in that A tier. I would be okay with B. You know, I may use a mulligan myself and move this one up to B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to use a mulligan, and I'm going to put mine in B as well. All right. Do you, you, you convinced me. You convinced me. It's, so, it's wait, good, I, man. It's. I wouldn't put this in A, though. No way. Yeah, I, I was thinking A, but... Because I have a spot, but maybe I'll mulligan later, but I do like <laughs> one of the ones coming up soon. Uh, but Is that... Is, yeah. The next one, we have like a drastic change. We have Jim leaving Pennywise and Zoli from Ignite taking over on vocals for this one for All or Nothing. And Matt, like we saw Pennywise and Ignite in 2003 mm -hmm. um, at Irving Plaza, I believe. And that was my first introduction to Pennywise, or to, I'm sorry, I'm not, not to Ignite, yeah, geez. Wait, was that, was that the show with the Circle Jerks? Yes, yeah, it was Circle yeah, it Jerks, was, Ignite, yeah. and Pennywise. Mm -hmm. And we all got those Bottini Fuel style uh, Ignite jackets, and I was like a fan since then, but not a huge fan. And I'll be honest with you, I definitely prefer Jim's vocals to Zoli's. Like, I think Zoli is a better singer, like, objectively, but mm -hmm. for Pennywise, I prefer Jim's vocals. And But Matt, I will say this was my big riser. Like I was prepared possibly to put this in C or D. And then <laughs> the last week when we like, were like, we're gonna listen to all these and make sure we have it correct. Yeah. I was like, damn, like this is pretty good. Like all these songs like are solid and like, this, I don't want to speak like blasphemous or anything, but this would be the best Ignite record. I'll say that. Um, yeah, yeah, it would be the best Ignite record. Absolutely, I would say. And I think this is the best sounding Pennywise record in terms of production sonically. I think it sounds the best. I think the rhythm section for the first time kind of like takes the lead. Like the drums and the bass on this album sound awesome. So. I'm struggling now. Like this could honestly fall anywhere from A <laughs> to C. So because of that, I'm going to go right in the middle and I'm going to put this in B. But honestly, man, I slept on this for a long time. And when you're listening to 14, 13, 14 Pennywise albums, this one's like a breath of fresh air. So factor yeah. that into why this is in B. But overall, I like this one, Matt. What about you? 
So I'm going to go back with my Joe Dirt quote. You know, bands I like, Van Halen, not Van Hagar. And same thing for this. The music sounds great. It's Pennywise, right? The music, the instruments, the vocals is not Pennywise. I do not like this. I don't, I, I guess Jim needed a break. I don't know. He needed to go fishing or something. He was getting older. I don't know. He needed some time off, but uh, I'm putting this in D. I just couldn't get into it. It's not Pennywise to me. Like, you know, like the instruments is, you know, you have all the core members there, but just the vocals, I, I couldn't get into it with the vocals. It just didn't mesh together for me. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a good mesh. It wasn't a good relationship, I feel like. And that's why Jim came back because he probably heard this and was like, what the hell? What the hell is this guy doing? He can't sing Pennywise songs. Let me come back. Matt, I I will say, though, I forget like what the band Jim started. Oh, there was the Black Pacific. Yeah. And then I think there was another one. I could be wrong here. And if I'm wrong, guys, please roast me. I think it was called Wrath or Wraths. And this album is better than both of those by far. So uh, just just... Put that in your milk and mm. stir it up a little bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, I was curious. I I thought you might put this high. Um, really? Yeah, dude. This one nah. is fast. It's aggressive. It just it feels yeah, like but... it feels like um, everybody just wanted to go all out on this record. Like every, it's just balls to the wall. And mm -hmm. after like reason to believe i like but it, it it's a little slower it's a little flat the fuse sucks so like this kind of coming from those like the band just felt like a little rejuvenated and i think that carries over you know not to the next one because the next one i believe is like re-recorded or b-size or something but the one after yeah. it i think it kind of flows into that but matt if you want to take us into yesterday's yeah so yesterday's um you know, like I, I was going back and forth with this one. And I'm just going to do it. I'm putting this one in D. Not a big fan of yesterday. It was yesterday. Today's today. Let's move on. You know? So even though you only need two, you're, you're going th three Ds. Yeah, yeah man. I'm, I'm doing <laughs> three Ds. <laughs> I like that. I think that's the first time we've done that. I don't think we've yeah. had, I don't think we've had three Ds before. Yeah. I just didn't find myself like, did you listen to this one more than twice? Uh, I mean, I don't love this one. Yeah. But I think Violence Never Ending is a really strong track. I think it's fine as like a B-Sides compilation style album. Um, I mean, I was between D and C, but mm. man, and we are grading it in the same there's no curve here we, there, you don't lose or gain points for being a b-side so yeah dude yeah. I'm, I'm okay with you putting it in d but i'm feeling generous today so i'm gonna put it in c just just mm. because violence never ending is such a good song and i do think there's some good tracks on here i i don't know why we needed band practice for 13 minutes at the end i don't know who's listening to that whole thing if you are you're a lot more patient than me, but you guys know how I feel about four minute songs. When you give me a 13 minute, uh, yeah. barely audible band practice, I, I could tell you exactly how that's going to go. Well, that, that was band practice from uh, 89, John. Yeah, 89. These guys love to say, you know, 88 <laughs> here, which both of these albums came out in 89. So I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Uh, maybe they need a, a clock or a calendar or something. But Matt, we are on to. The final album, mm -hmm. we blew through this one, man. Well, when we don't prepare anything, this just goes real fast. Yeah. It goes, it goes smooth <laughs> though. You know, I think it went well today. But the final one, never going to, die, never gonna die. Uh, I have to put this one in my B tier. You don't have room in B. Oh, I'm sorry, my C tier. That's right. This one's going in my C tier. So yeah, I because I moved up the um, uh, all or nothing, right? Is that the MySpace one? Yeah. So Reason um, to believe. Yeah, I'm sorry. Reason to believe. Yes. So, but yeah, so this is a C then. I have to put it in there. Um, I felt like this was a good comeback for Pennywise after that, you know, the last one without Jim. And I felt like this one meshes well together. Um, it was going to be a B and then I, I can't put it in B now. So I have no more mulligan. So it's a C. All right. Well, Matt, I, I definitely disagree with that rating. This 
to me is really really good this is their for me their best album since the early 2000s and i'm so happy pennywise is back and i mean i i hope they're still back this was four years ago they may be gone again but <laughs> man the production on this is great the vocals are are great there's so many good Don't songs on here yeah dude this this Don't was this was my number three album of 2018 and it could have been higher like i feel like everything's kind of in the spirit of land of the free and from the ashes i feel like this could have been where the fuse was and i'm mm. putting i'm putting it in a i'm putting it alongside these two i i am not somebody who hates a band's newer stuff especially when it sounds just like all the other stuff so i have no problem putting this in a what do you, you look pissed what are you thinking uh, oh god can you go back to the tier list all right you, you, let's go back to the tier list um i need you to move this one up to b i didn't want to use my mulligan you kind of forced me when you were talking about the myspace album let's just go back to what i originally had this is a b and that myspace one is a c so you're doing yeah, a double mulligan yeah reasons reasons to believe is a c this is my this was my original list right here it was like this um so there we go this is my original list what i had you kind of convinced me for a second about reason to believe but no, this is definitely better than Reasons to Believe. That's why we're going back to the original list. So, But A, you're putting that in A? Ooh. Well, all right. Here's like another way to look at it. Every other one on here that's good, I've heard a hundred times, right? At least a okay. hundred times. Okay. Then this one comes out in 2018, and I never heard any of these songs, and it sounds just like... Land of the Free, which is my favorite Pennywise mm. album. It sounds a lot like From the Ashes, which is, you know, maybe my number four. So to hear like a fresh spin on that style Pennywise in 2018, like 15 years after those came out, I was all about it. So like I was really positive when this came out and I'm still positive about this. If you guys like 2000s mm. era Pennywise and you somehow missed this one, Make sure and check it out. I definitely recommend it. Matt is lukewarm on it. He's going between C and B. You know, it's, it's a good, it's a good one. I can see this potentially being an A. I'm, I can see it, but like the ones I have in A, I feel like are better than this one. So this is why this is a B for me. Mm -hmm. Like those A ones are definitely better to me. Again, like these lists are our opinions. This is not like you know the Ten Commandments where this is set in stone and whatever we say goes. You know. Uh, we got a lot of heat from those bad religion fans out there, those gutter mouth fans out there, you know, when they saw my tier list. But yeah, so I'm saying this is, um, yeah, this is a solid B for me because the other ones are definitely better. And I, Matt, I think our, I mean, our lists are really similar if you look at it. Like everything's kind of in the same ballpark aside from all or nothing. I think our D, our D is, yeah, our, our D is off by two. Oh, and you had you had the fuse and <laughs> yeah. B. See, if I if I had a mulligan and I was you, it would be switching the fuse and reason to believe. But you've already used two mulligans, which yeah, is against and, the rules. And I wanted all the uh, the the PW, you know, logo, the Pennywise in one section right there. So I have it all in B. What you about know? all? Or, you have all or nothing in D though, and you have well, full I, circle in <laughs> S. Well, I could only have three in B, so I wanted to make sure I had one column, one row with all the same you know, like Pennywise logos on it. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we did that. So if you had a guess, just one more quick thing before we wrap up. Yeah. What what the consensus Pennywise fan, what their tier list would look. I'll give you mine, and then you can give me yours. I'm going to say consensus Pennywise fan, their two S tiers are going to be Unknown Road and About Time. And then I think yeah. A would be self-titled, full circle, and... Hmm. That's all. That's all the Pennywise fans really like, right? I feel like everybody shits on. Maybe Straight yeah, Ahead would be there too. I don't feel like like core Pennywise fans. I feel like they don't like Land of the Free. I I don't know for sure, but I feel like if Unknown Road is your favorite Pennywise album, you probably don't like Land of the Free. What do you think? I'm gonna say, yeah, but I'm gonna say like if there was no Land of the Free, I feel like their concerts would be pretty boring. Like, those songs are some of the best concert songs that they have, I feel like, is Land of the Free. Like, I, I just feel like those are the concert songs that gets the crowd going. 
Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's my opinion, but I mean. But again, I really like it could be because those are our favorite songs. True. True. That's true. But yeah, uh, Matt, anything else you want to say? We got an, we got through this again in less than 40 minutes, which is pretty solid. That's pretty good. I think we're, we're going to try to, what is it? What are we at? 30 minutes, 35 minutes? We're just hitting 35. All right. Let's, let's wrap it up there then. 35 minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. So like we said, uh, there will be no tier list video next week, but the following week we will be doing Alkaline Trio, possibly with a guest, still working out the details. And then mm -hmm. we will go from there. Uh, so guys, let us know what you think, who nailed the list. Did we both botch it? Uh, let us know in the comments. I, man, they're so similar. Maybe people would think that it's like a combination of both, mm. but yeah, two weeks we will have alkaline trio. I believe after that we are doing bouncing souls. Right. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I think bouncing souls or we have AFI in there, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe we'll do some new pop punk bands. Machine Gun Kelly, Little Locust. I don't know anything about those or bands. Little, Little Lotus, I think his name. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do some of that. We could try it. All right, guys. So let us know what you think of the list. And stay safe, and we'll see you next time on Punk Rock Radar.